This video will show the most common tools and actions needed to edit an image in Photoshop once it runs through the Key36 plugin. Let's start with this image which contains green on the subject. The first thing we need to do is open the image in Photoshop. We can then press Ctrl F5 to open the Key36 plugin. I am going to process the image right away using the default settings. If you want more information on the advanced settings, you can watch the intro to Key36 tutorial video. We are now viewing the image with all the green removed, so we're left with transparency on the subject where the green was. If we check off this box to view the mask, we can see that the plugin has automatically created a mask which tries to separate the foreground green from the background green. Once I click to accept the result, the image will open in Photoshop with that same mask, and we will just need to clean it up a little bit. Whenever you need to hide or show green pixels, you must always work on the top layer mask. We always start off with a black brush, so we can easily use the brush to get rid of the green we don't want. Just be careful not to paint over the green on the clothing that we want to retain. If you ever need to bring back green pixels, you can switch to a white brush by using the shortcut X on the keyboard and then paint over the area that you want green, being careful not to touch the green screen. Once you're done, you can do any other editing you want and then save the image. Our next image contains a green book. Let's process the image and accept the result so we can return to Photoshop. Notice that I have added some shortcuts to the actions I use most frequently. You can do this by double-clicking on the action and then choosing the shortcut. If you make any changes to the default actions to accommodate your workflow, then you want to make sure that you always run the Key36 plugin using the Run Key36 action, because if you run the script directly from the file menu, all the default actions will be reloaded. Now to get back to this image, Whenever you have a small area of green that needs to be retained, you can use the lasso tool to make a quick selection around the green you want to keep. Don't worry too much about your selection. What's important here is that the green you want to keep is within your selection, and any green you don't want to keep is outside of your selection. Now all we need to do is play the hide green outside selection action, and we're done. The next type of image you might come across is one where the subject is wearing a full green shirt. Let's process the image and accept the result so we can return to Photoshop. In this case, the easiest thing to do is take your wand tool and select the areas where the green screen is showing on the mask. If you start getting some of the green shirt in your selection, you just need to deselect and lower the tolerance of your wand. Don't worry about the green near the hair, we can deal with that later. For now, let's play the hide green within selection action. We will end up back on our brush tool and we can clean up any green left in the hair and anywhere else on the image. The last image we're going to look at has some dark shadows on the background, as well as some shoe marks on the bottom of the green screen. You'll see when we process the image that most of this gets automatically removed, but there may sometimes be very dark areas which remain on the keyed result. Once we accept the result and return to Photoshop, we can start by cleaning up the green clothes mask. If there is no green needed on your subject, like in the case of this image, start by playing the Hide All Green action. Now I would suggest viewing the image with a background color so you can better see where the shadows are. We just need to turn on this bottom layer and you can double click to change the color. In order to remove this shadow, we need to click on the CK layer mask. Now I can use a black brush and paint over this shadow to remove it. You just want to be careful not to paint over your subject.
When working on this layer, you can use any of the tools and actions you want. For example, rather than trying to trace along her legs here using my brush, I can select that area with the wand. However, if you click with the wand and your selection looks a little crazy like this, it might be because you're on the tint layer. So let's deselect and what we need to do is switch back to our source layer before making the selection. You may need to adjust the tolerance of the wand and it's also a good idea to keep your wand in the add to selection mode so you can easily just keep clicking to add to your selection. Now, since one of the great things about the Key36 plugin is the detail retention in the hair, I don't want the action to affect her hair. So what I'm going to do is use the lasso tool to minus the hair from the selection. Once you have a good selection, switch back to the CK mask and play the hide green within selection action. This action will expand and feather the selection, but if it's not enough, you can play the action a second or a third time. If once is enough, you can deselect by pressing Ctrl D. You can then use the brush to do any touch-ups and then save the image once you're done. If at any point you mess up an image and you want to start from the beginning, you can go to the history palette and click on this top image. You can get pretty much all of your images extracted using these tools and actions, but the plugin comes with a few more which may come in useful. Watch more tutorial videos to find out how and when to use the other actions and tool presets.